Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 1st of 2023, well, it is titled Recycling Cassiopeia A. So what do we see here? Well, this is the supernova remnant known as Cassiopeia A. Now the naming comes from the fact that it was the first radio source detected in the constellation of Cassiopeia. So it was first detected as a radio source and has since been imaged in optical and x-ray as well. And that's what we're seeing here. We see a combination of the x-ray data and optical data of this supernova remnant. Now this would have been seen to have exploded uh, several hundred years ago and that would have been in the late 1600s. However, it was not easily visible from Earth, likely because there is a large amount of dust and other material between us. Otherwise, the supernova remnant would have been well known and the location of this star would have been well plotted. Now it was actually logged in the uh, late 1600s as a new star, but not really noticed as a supernova. So it could not have been a very bright object. Otherwise, it would have stand stood out compared to other stars in the area. However, we can study it today and see the remnants of this explosion and how that material has spread out over the last 350 years. Now, when did the explosion actually occur? Well, 350 years ago would have been when we saw it on Earth. However, it would have taken it over 10,000 years for the light to reach us from the distance of Cassiopeia A. And that's because it takes light one year to travel a distance of one light year. So something 11,000 light years away, it would take light 11,000 years to get here. Now the supernova remnant has not changed much in those 10,000 years, although it would have continued to expand significantly outward, slowly uh, spreading out through space. Now we call it recycling Cassiopeia A because this is where a lot of the material that we see comes from. Heavy elements are often built up in supernova explosions and are then expelled back out into the universe to become seed material for future generations of stars. And that is what will happen here. Over hundreds of thousands and millions of years, this material will spread out into the interstellar medium becoming a part of the material that will form the next generation of stars. So each new generation of stars is built from the remnants of material from others, slowly enriching them in heavier elements, early off starting with just hydrogen and helium, and finally getting up to the point where a tiny fraction of the star is made up of heavier elements. And that means that later generations of stars could form planets like Earth that are composed of these heavier elements that did not exist in the very early universe. So that was our picture of the day for June 1st of 2023. It was titled Recycling Cassiopeia A. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Massive Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.